Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to be going over another new product from 100 Concepts. Tonight is going to be the Shot Collar. So in my previous video, I did go over the 100 Concepts light cap, um, which, you know, in its, its old iteration, um, it is simply a cap that will cover up the reflector of your weapon light. Uh, not only act as a cover, but can potentially even act as a, um, a protector for if you're shooting uh, in your, your lights right next to your muzzle and you don't want to get carbon buildup all over the, uh, the lens of it. Uh, works great for that too. Uh, and by the old design, basically what you got here was a piece of long shot cord they included with it along with a ranger band. Um, what you did is you crisscrossed it and you went behind your mount uh, and then you looped it through and then tied it off on a knot, took the piece of ranger band, adjusted it down so when you took the cap off, the whole setup didn't just want to fall off your gun. Um, definitely, definitely less than ideal, um, but it's what we had at the time and it worked for a year, maybe even a couple years. Um, no complaints. Again, I, I, it wasn't exactly my favorite. Uh, one of the other things about it, besides looking a little bit cluttered, uh, besides, you know, this thing sometimes shifting on you and getting it just right. Anytime you need to change the battery in your weapon mounted light, you would have to remove this whole setup, set it all back up again, a little bit tedious. Uh, but again, being that we had no other option, it's it's what we worked with. So 100 Concepts, being the pretty cool, innovative company that they are, uh, and they're they're proving themselves to be, and I do not have any affiliation with them whatsoever. Um, all of the products that I have bought from them, I have paid for with my own money. These came out with the shot collar. So the shot collar is a loop that can go around the head of your weapon mounted light, as you see here. Um, it connects in, in the middle. It's kind of like a split ring setup. Uh, the way they tell you to size is, is to match them with the light cap that you have. So in this case, this is a Cloud Defense Rain 3.0. And if you can see that, that's a large. So if you have a large, uh, like for this Cloud Rain, uh, you're going to pick a large shot collar. Um, kind of, let's see here on my Malkoff. E2 XTL head. Um, this is the same size as a uh, mod light. A um, little bit snugger on the Malkoff, has a little bit larger diameter head, uh, but you would get a medium shot collar. So basically, what you get in the package, besides having just the shot collar itself, is you're going to get a shorter screw and a longer screw, along with two nuts, which is the hardware that you need to close the, uh, the loop here and tighten it down. Uh, you should already have the shot collar if you already have a light cap. Um, one of the things that I found kind of interesting with this is that I do have three different Cloud Rain uh, 3.0s. Uh, this is my newest one here. It is a flat dark earth. And if you will pay attention right here where the split is, you see if the camera will focus, it is very tight. You know, it's, it's completely the two bosses are touching each other. Um, it is very similar to the rain 3.0 that i have on my 18 inch get that in the picture here um actually I take that back so this one here there's a little bit of a gap that you see so they're not exactly touching each other and then lastly i think it's maybe my 12.5 that i was getting that mixed up with on my 12.5 setup yes correct bosses are touching each other uh, I did notice I have not shot my 12.5 with the uh, shot collar on there, uh, but I did take the 14.5 out last weekend. And what I did notice is while I had this snug down as tight as, you know, I thought it should be, you don't want to obviously over torque it, I did notice that the shot collar was slipping its way up upwards under recoil. Um, I, I, it felt snug at the time, but again, I didn't put a whole bunch of torque on it. Um, and along with that, I did notice that on my mod light POH V2, which uses the same size, um, light cap as the Malkoff, but it is a little, it is a little looser fitting. I did notice the same thing. Um, you did have a less than ideal snug fit. Now this one doesn't look bad because I want to talk about what I did to get around that. Now. Typically, I'm very good about reading instructions. Uh, this seems pretty straightforward, though, and I didn't read the instructions on there, so it may uh, it may already say this in the instructions, not exactly be groundbreaking, but um, I did find it a little bit weird and a little bit frustrating that this would not snug down around this cloud head 
um, and it would continue to slide up. So basically, when you show, when I every time I shot it, it would the tension of the bungee or the shot cord would pull itself up on the head. The cap would end up just kind of falling off on its own. So what I did is I took the Ranger band that they sell with the um, light cap, and I cut a little strip off. I cut a little strip off this just big enough that would hide underneath of the shot collar itself. Uh, put that around it and then tighten the shot collar around it and snug it down, uh, which is what gave me the better fit. Let's see if I can get this on video again. While it does still look very, very tight, um, it is definitely very secure. So I had to do that on this cloud rain. I had to do it on my other cloud rain um, on my 18 inch. In order to close that gap up a little bit um, as you see here the way that it tightened down the shot collar tightened down it kind of bunched up the rubber underneath it which showed it shows it having a bigger gap here uh, but that's nice and secure the one thing that i did not have to tighten it on being that the malkoff is a larger diameter head than the um bob light uh there's a very nice let's see if i can show it on camera see a little bit there very nice gap in there between the two bosses uh, so there was no ranger band that was needed underneath this so again it may be something that they already 100 concept has already recognized and they've called out in the installation instructions um, but if not that is one of the ways that you can get around that if you do get one of your own shot callers and it does not seem to want to get uh, snug enough tight enough in order to not slip its way around the head so um you know, very, very reasonably priced for these shot callers. I think they range around $17 or $18. Um, and it's definitely a lot cleaner than what you see with the um, old setup with the crisscross shot cord along with the uh, Ranger band. So you can position yourself or clock it any way that you want. You know, in this particular setup uh, and on most of my rifles that I have light caps on, I kind of put it off at 11 degree or 11 o'clock angle. So I can kind of just reach up and pull it back uh, one of those exceptions being where on my 18 inch being that i do have an offset red dot on here as you can see here when i look through that red dot um, the weapon light does get in the way a little bit and as you can imagine the light cap can too so the tab that you have here i typically have that facing on this side on all my other rifle lights uh, but on this particular one because i have the offset set up I have it on the inside and then when i when i flick the light cap in i flick it down this way towards the barrel so that when i'm looking down my offset red dot i don't have the you know side picture being clogged up with the uh, light cap itself and then also you know one of the final benefits about this is being that the shot collar mounts around the head of the weapon light when you go to do a battery change you don't have to undo the uh, shot cord you don't have to undo the ranger band and reset it back up simply just twist the head back off so makes it a little bit more convenient definitely cleaner looking definitely really digging this product um, go check them out 100 concepts uh, making many cool other products outside of the light cap from the shot collar um, and again very very reasonably priced these are available for the good majority of your quality weapon lights that are out there on the market. So, um, again, go check them out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope, hope it could help some of you guys out. And thank you very much for subscribing, liking, and following my channel. Have a good one.